We're diving into the whirlwind world of bringing up Bates star Katie Bates, who recently underwent surgery to bid farewell to those pesky kidney stones. But hold on to your seats, because the story doesn't end there. Join me as we unravel the twists and turns of Katie's post-surgery journey, and the surprising choices that have fans talking. First off, major kudos to Travis for documenting Katie's surgery and sharing it with the world on their YouTube channel. This 17-minute vlog takes us behind the scenes of Katie's hospital stay, even featuring their anniversary celebration in the midst of it all. Talk about turning a challenging situation into a celebration of love. Fortunately, the surgery was a success, and Katie bounced back quickly. But what happened next raised a few eyebrows. Just days after being sent home, Katie surprised fans by diving back into her social media side jobs. However, what caught some fans off guard was her latest endorsement, a drink supplement. The plot thickens. In her latest Instagram stories, Katie enthusiastically promotes the supplement, claiming her dad drinks it every single day. But here's where the concern kicks in. Some fans are worried that the promotion conflicts with her recent battle with kidney stones. Over on Reddit, the discussion heats up. Fans express genuine concern for Katie's well-being, questioning whether she has received clearance from her doctor to indulge in a supplement that's notably high in vitamin C, an element often advised against for those prone to kidney stones. For the sake of her health, I hope Katie has clearance from her doctor to drink AG1 right now. It's really high in vitamin C, which is often advised against for people who are prone to making kidney stones. This concern extends beyond Katie to influencers in general. Some Redditors point out the potential dangers associated with influencers promoting supplements and artificial drinks online raising questions about whether Katie is fully aware of the possible consequences. Doubts emerge about whether Katie is genuinely consuming the promoted supplement or simply fulfilling a contractual obligation. Speculations arise, with one user stating, Am I the only one who doesn't believe influencers use half the crap they get deals for? She's just getting her money up, I'm sure. She's definitely under a contract. A lot of times these things are also filmed in advance and sent to the company for their approval before they are posted. I'm sure she's not drinking it if she shouldn't be. Adding another layer to the narrative, some Redditors recall Katie's picky preferences when it comes to food and drinks. One user even mentions that the promoted supplement doesn't taste great, leading to doubts about Katie consuming it regularly. And there you have it, the intriguing tale of Katie Bates post-surgery, where health concerns collide with the world of social media endorsements. What are your thoughts on this unexpected twist? Let me know in the comments below, hit that like button if you found this journey fascinating, subscribe for more insider stories, and don't forget to ring that notification bell to stay in the loop. Until next time, stay curious, stay fabulous, and I'll catch you in the next video.